What's up you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Growing With La La's Crops. So today, as you can see, I will be planting my tomatoes and bell pepper seedlings today, along with adding a new raised bed and taking out some old vegetables. So if this is something that you're interested in watching, stay tuned. I bought these two tomatoes from my local nursery. This is cherry red right here. And then this is a great tomato. These two right here are red beefsteak. This one right here is a jalapeno. This one I bought from um, Home Depot. This is a hot banana pepper. And then this is the bell pepper. These are some of the seeds that I will be planting also. I just have not started them yet. So carrots, uh, borage, Um, some pole beans, some lettuce, and then I also ordered some um, all season lettuce. I do have the bunching onion variety that I will be growing. Um, and like things like this, I like to go ahead and directly sow them into the soil. So I'm just waiting on my new red bit, raised bed to do that. Um, this is some spinach some cabbage. This is a different variety that I haven't tried yet. Um, and then I also ordered some more uh, cabbage, which is an all season cabbage. I really like that cabbage. Um, cucumber seeds. My God, these are the cucumber seedlings that have started. Eventually, I'm going to be trying to do some peanuts, you guys. I'm excited about this, but not right now. I need to do my research to see how I need to um, grow peanuts so so yeah so this is my oh and i have my collard green seedlings coming on coming on the way also so i have not started those yet because i just ordered some online so i'm waiting i'm waiting for them to come in um my husband he planted his uh pineapple i'm gonna show you guys he planted his pineapple in a pot and we're still waiting on this one. I need to change out this water though. We wait on this one to develop some more roots. So yeah, I bought soil from our local nursery. So I'm excited to try this soil. And this is the pineapple, you guys, I'm excited. We already have a pineapple in the yard. I'll go show you guys that one. But my husband wanted to try pots for this, um, for this pineapple. Oh, look at my echinacea, you guys. She's so tall, so, so tall and pretty. Yeah, the car carrots are still, still doing their thing. Flowers still doing their thing. We've had this pineapple for a couple years. It just has not developed anything yet. So we'll see what this one does. All right, so my husband already pulled up the, the weeds from the ground for the most part. So now we're going to use um, the weed fabric and put that down and then just fill this raised bed up with some soil. And then this is the raised bed that I was talking about putting the cow manure into and I'm going to mix it up into the soil. And I'm going to take these plants out this is just a bell pepper. I already have another bell pepper. And then this is jalapeno plant. Take those out because I want to plant some different type of uh, vegetables in this one. And then in this one, I'm going to remove the okra because it's basically done for the most part. I mean, it's still trying to provide growth on the bottom half right here. And here's some okra right here. But... You know, I want to go ahead and start um, start my fall vegetables, but I am keeping my candy cane bell pepper in here. So this row, I'm trying to keep it in a straight row as much as possible. This row is going to be like my bell peppers and like, well, not bell, well, just peppers, not bell peppers, but just peppers. And then um, I'm going to try to see what I can fit on this row right here. Uh, what else? Tomatoes will probably go along there. I have like five tomato plants. 
So this is going to be technically year round raised bed. So peppers, um, tomatoes, things like that. All right, so my husband got the reed fabric. This is my very first bell pepper, you guys. I like to look at the roots so that I can know like how deep, been in there, how deep the roots get. So I can know, you know, how much soil I need to apply to raised beds, how much spacing I need to give it. So, bye bell pepper. All right, bye heel. All right, okra. Ah. Whoa! Now the okra, you guys, look at how deep the roots get. And next year when I grow okra, I know definitely give it, you know, some space because these roots right here, yeah. So that's another tip for especially for new uh, gardeners: make sure you give your plants them, you know, enough spacing so that the roots. As you can see, this is the okra plant, and this is how thick the stem got pretty thick so I'm using my husband's uh what's this called I don't know what it's called but clippers that's clippers all right I might need to do that again looper. Huh? A looper. oh it's called a looper you guys I don't call it clippers Ooh, look how clean that cut is the trees that's what oh she knows. Nice clean cut. Make it easier for me. All right. Woo! Jeez. Look at how long these roots. Golly! Okay, yeah. So next year, when I grow okra, yeah. This type of variety, I need to definitely give some room. You grew this from seed, right? Hmm? Yeah, I grew these from seeds, yes. I grew these from seeds. Look how thick this stem is. Cut this one on there. Yes, guys, I know I have some new growth on it, but I'm trying to get ready for my fall vegetables, so I'm just going to go ahead and take the risk and get rid of them. I'm mending this soil, and it's going to be a good workout. Alrighty, so now it's time for me to transfer my seedlings. Okay, so I have my two trellises put up. Um, I decided to do the four squared trellises so it can give me enough cucumbers and my beans. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm also gonna be doing some cover crops. And I'll discuss what that is in another video. But for right now, I'm just planting my peppers and tomatoes.
Okay, I'm put my another bell pepper right here. Remove the bottom leaves. Alright you guys, so there we have it. My pepper, peppers are planted. My tomatoes are planted. And we are good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button below and the bell notification. So that you will be alert when I post a new video. I will catch you guys in my next video. As always, happy gardening. Peace.